So Borkow, I don't think anyone needs reminders who Borkow is. And this is Wang Wei Hao, the slightly smaller guy is Wang Wei Hao. He's a Sanda champion. And oof, got his kick checked. They're standing slightly different. The, the Muay Thai guys just have a different rhythm, man. Ooh, that was a attempt at an angled jab. Huh, the Muay Thai guys just have a different angle. That was a little roundhouse kick to his thigh that Wang Wei Hao took. Wang Wei Hao trying those signature Sanda side kicks. I think he kind of hit that area in between the legs a little bit, so that's why. Oh, Bull Cow did it back to him, the sort of stomping-esque sidekick, but in his Bull Cow way. Oh, he did a spinning uh, or a turning push kick, and it also sort of hit Bull Cow down there. Dude, Bull Cow is going to knock you for doing that. Watch, dude. See? He almost knocked the ref out too accidentally. <laughs> he almost knocked the ref out huh? just by walking into the ref. First minute of the match, our Sanda guy already got a standing count. And I'm sure, I don't know what type of fighter uh, Buckhow is, as in does he sort of take it easy for a little bit before he starts, but I'm sure getting hit twice down there made him want to turn it up immediately. So, oh, ow, that hurt so bad. That hurt the Sanda guy so bad. That was a good punch, though. But, man, he his shin hit Borkow's shin at the angle to hurt. Ow, that, I'm still feeling that kick. Ouch. Oh, my goodness. Second knockdown, man. Oh, ouch. Wow, that was a kick knockdown. Oof. Dude, there are levels to this, man. There are levels to this. Wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Dude, Bookhouse beating him in the boxing game now. Look at that. A hook to the body. Oh, my goodness. Bookhouse hunting him down. I think, guys, this might be the first time we've ever covered Bookhouse on Fight Commentary Breakdown. So, man. This was long overdue, man. Oh, my goodness. He's making the sign that guy run. He's making the sign that guy run. He's like, you kicked me in the eye. Oh, my God. That was it. Woo. That was it, man. Oh, wow. Holy. Oh, my God. A few moments later. I don't even know what to say. I literally took a break and came back because this video wins the award for being the most deceptive in length because the original video that I was watching, 17 minutes long. So I thought, okay, this was going to be a long challenge fight. The Sanda guy was going to put up a good fight and I'm going to have to pick and choose the cool moments to feature. But it turns out less than three minutes in the video, the Sanda guy gets beaten. It's crazy, man. It really shows how good Bokao is. That's crazy. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing his name right, and I know some of you are going to get mad if I don't pronounce his name right. But either way, it looks like we're going to have to do a deep dive into our man here. You know, I like to look at the non-mainstream stuff. That's what gives this channel its cool vibe. But I think we'll make an exception for our man here. Holy wow, 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 wow. That was crazy. Beyond domination, man. That was beyond domination. His combos were crazy. His conditioning was crazy. He was able to turn it up like this. Not like sometimes in Muay Thai they can't turn it up initially. It's crazy. He just looks like a specimen. He is just scary. Okay, guys, this was Fight Commentary Breakdown. Send us your favorite book out fights, and I'll see if I can cover them. Okay, thank you, guys.